Yo, what's going on, everybody? Uh, we're gonna do a new video today. Um, we'll be actually uh, with my uh, family, my sister, my brother, my brother-in-law. Uh, we're gonna go with, uh, what's it called here? What's the restaurant here? Uh, Kang Hong Do. So it'll be a little bit of a Korean barbecue on this part. So it'll be part two of the new adventure with you guys. Uh, hopefully, it's supposed to be good. I know the line's supposed to be long, so we'll see how it actually, uh, we'll have to wait for. But like I said, typical Korean barbecue content that we actually got, yumminess that we actually have here. Can't wait to share with you guys, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, check it on out. coming out literally we just ordered a family version of this here so um, yeah. Yeah. we literally have also hot soup which is actually pretty crazy so we'll see uh, how that tastes like here especially this is our first time over here and uh, it's pretty awesome so I can't wait to dig down and show you some of the shots we actually got Shot. Yeah, dude. Is that, was that green apple or what is this? This is straight up. This normal like soju? Rubbing alcohol, normal dude. soju. It's going to taste like shit. It's going be down. Easy peasy. <laughs> cheers, y'all. Alright, cheers. Yeah, I said, the uh, thinly, uh, thinly shredded beef we actually have here, uh, mainly with the uh, rice paper you actually put on, and you actually just dip it inside the oil with uh, salt you actually had here earlier. Simple staple, you know what I'm saying? So, not too bad at all. But literally, just like dipping this stuff here. Oh, my least favorite. Least favorite cut. Get that. Look at that, the gold kimchi. supposed to be like really tasty. It's supposed to be really, uh, we'll see how delicious it is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Not good. Mm -hmm. and the texture, and the taste. I don't know what kind of that with that corn is perfect for all the taste of it. Nice and sweet. Too salty, yeah, right? The plan, I'm gonna put it here at ice right here. Thank you. This is a perfect, perfect hit. Literally with white paper. Please put stuff. Oh my god. Look at the combo. Yeah, yeah. 
see that here. This is tofu. Literally hot pot tofu with uh, squash here. Oh my god. I got recommended to us because all like, oh, Ed, if you want a little bit of soup hit to this, this is the best way to go. So we'll see how that works here. Campbell's soup, like Campbell's uh, spaghetti sauce, like the tomato sauce in there. So food great, love it. I love tofu, so food really good. This is really, oh, yeah, RD. holy moly. It's not bad for a hot pot, but do I eat it? No, not really. Not really my choice. So. Some of the dumplings we actually tested out here. It's uh, nice and crispy. It's one of the other things that they actually recommended to us too. So we'll see. Oh, just simple. I don't even see this there, but. He did a good job. Put it medium perfectly. And just say, hey, eat it. Oh my god. It's gonna be a four. I'm gonna dip it in the corn sauce. Oh my god. 
and just dipping like corn for the heck of it with the cheese. Oh, I'm loving it right now. Oh my god, that's perfect. I'm gonna need a little bit of that tofu they actually had here too. I think I'm a tofu guy. I love it. Crispy tofu, phenomenal. Mm. Mm. pepper hit to it with uh, green onions. Soak it up in there. Good taste it too. Um, this is really strong and phenomenal. I forgot the name of the restaurant already, Whole Ding Bang or something like that, but god damn, they do a good job here. That's it. Two dollar piece. Another piece for that steak. made like metal really hard to hold too it's just cumbersome yeah but like here's another one this is just meaty fat you really can't see it too well but right there just the fattiness with this oh baby dip it like i said here just something money goodness this is say mcdonald's if you have this in your menu you know what i'm saying i'll be getting that every freaking day thank you To get us on that pickle garnish here too again. One of the last uh, meats that we actually have here was uh, the boneless rib, pretty much. Like I can say. <laughs> I lost my words for this thing. Literally. It's another cut of this. It's just usually when you go to Korean barbecue, right? You actually get one of this here and you know, you just eat piles of stuff. They literally just took it off the bone, marinated it in their you know secret sauce and just tossed it on the grill for us and I'm like, okay, eat it, we're done. Let's see. I'm gonna eat it without any type of like extra dip or anything. We'll see how it's gonna taste. Ooh, baby. Extra char. I can take the char on this baby. It's just sweet. Very really sweet. Compared to the ribeye, it's just like, you know, salt and pepper, straight up. You know, that's where all the meat will be. Hot meat, salt, and pepper. That's all you need, right? Honey filet, salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of oil. That's it. Nothing fancy. No marinade needed. But this one here, they want to do their Korean barbecue marinade on this one. It's just literally. Literally the perfect cut. Like, so perfect. Literally. Korean barbecue of this caliber is God's gift to mankind. 
Oh my god, bro. Need that. Get a bite of tofu too. Oh my god. Double 15 with beef. Perfect cut, really. Perfect cut. Me and the baby. I need to do this all day. It's perfectly sweet. A little bit of char, which I like a lot. It's fantastic. You know, so what we got earlier was that. We're good. A little chewy here. Sorry. Some other things we got off the plate. But those are my two favorite things for sure. Those two beef were awesome. Seriously. Oh, jeez. Literally so perfect. Just fish it down with that tofu. Mm. Gorgeous. With the fluffy egg that actually has inside the outer ring that I actually saw earlier. That was on there. That is so smart. Really cooking around the plate. And it keeps it warm. So fluffy. A little bit wet still, which is amazing. How do you do that? It's like voodoo magic. Holy moly. I'm gonna cry a little bit here. There's another, another pretty perfect piece of rib. Holy moly. I can't. Stop eating it. Especially with the pickle uh, cucumber. So I'm good. I'm really impressed. Fast service. Everything is just on point. They had like three different servers coming in, right? Just changing the plate, making sure they cook everything perfectly. I know other creative marketplaces do the same thing too, but this is another level, and I can see why. Sometimes their wait time at night, two hour wait, makes a lot of sense. Funny thing, literally, uh, my server forgot the Coke twice already. <laughs> he looked at the table, he's like, oh yeah. But literally, no Coke. I've been like 45 minutes in, an hour into the server, service. Everything was perfect beside the Coke, you forgot. Can't fault him for that. He's busy. This place is a madhouse, seriously. So packed. Literally, he's packed. What a madhouse. All right, guys, thank you again for uh, coming out here for session number two at one of the, probably one of the best restaurants out here uh, in Irvine, California. Fish for Korean barbecue. Like I said, I already forgot the name already. I'm gonna turn around, so it'll be King Hoda Bak Chiang. Uh, I don't know if I butchered that, but it's actually a phenomenal restaurant, and I appreciate you guys coming out, checking out that feed today. And we'll look to do some more. I said session three. Uh, we're talking about McDonald's earlier. We're also talking about uh, Wascati, uh, steak restaurant, maybe out back for you guys, you know, based on what we do all the time. Uh, McDonald's, my favorite restaurant you guys uh, know I love the most, uh, based on Twitch when you guys uh, come out and check me out. Uh, but once again, I appreciate the love and support. Uh, we'll catch you guys here next time. And third adventure, we're coming through, all right? Catch you guys later. Bye-bye, guys.